Prison Mode. And uh, recently I had done the unboxing of the Gigabyte Bricks S based on the i3 5010U Broadwell CPU. Well, I had done the unboxing and I had promised you a performance review. So today I have a performance review of the same and uh, I am going to do the performance review with my 40 inch LED TV that is so that you can see how beautiful it is looking on a full 1080p resolution. Well, it's a bare bone so I have configured it with a ADERA SX900 256GB 6GB per second SSD along with a Kingston 4GB 1600MHz of SOD RAM. But wait, we need a keyboard and a mouse. What? does a device of this octane actually deserves hmm. well nothing else nothing less than the octane series itself the cooler master octane gaming series seven color led gaming keyboard and mouse well cooler master was you know generous enough to give, lend me their new swift i uh, swift rx you know this is a new uh, mouse pad that they have launched and uh, maybe this is the first time you guys are seeing it as well. So here I have the brick and I have uh, added the Cooler Master Octane series uh, keyboard. The mouse obviously, RX, the Swift RX game pad. It has been connected through an HDMI cable to my television and I am going to now move on to the performance review. So stay tuned. So guys, let's start with the actual performance of the Brick S based on the i3-5010U Broadwell CPU. And as you can see, Windows 8.1 is loading quite fast and there is no lag at all. So first of all, uh, we'll start with a basic, very basic game. Let's start with Burnout Paradise. It's one of my very favorite racing games. Uh, just because uh, it's optimized for PC and it has a very good particle density along with the shadow quality. Which is not at all very much punishing to the CPU and the GPU, but at the same time it maintains a very good balance. Uh, as you can see, we are running the whole thing on 1080p resolution and uh, it is being handled seamlessly and there is no lag at all. So let's, uh, well this is gonna take a bit time because uh, the game itself takes time to come to the main interface so pardon me for that but yes, we can see that the SSD that we have installed that the ADATA SX900 is letting the game load up very very fast and the processor is definitely holding up I have turned down the volume because obviously you are here to watch my review and not the game so okay now we're gonna start the game and uh, we have started from the first stage I haven't played the game now this is awesome guys I want you to keep your eyes open this is ha you just look at the quality don't judge my gaming skills obviously because this is a performance review of the bricks and not of me and as you can see I am def trying to show you how the processor and GPU are holding up by driving really really crappy intentionally obviously because I want to show you all the reflections and all the scratches, the dents and everything that comes on the car and now I'm going to take a super jump just to see if there is any hiccup or anything like that and no guys there is no hiccup at all yeah I just crashed in the building that's fine that's that's my error but not at all on the bricks part the brick is definitely doing a great job in this and I just want to show you the particle density I'm going to push the brakes and you can just see how nicely it is holding up okay so we can see the options and I can show you what the, the actually quality we are operating upon and we the video options and yes the resolutions is 1080p and the quality of everything is set to either medium or standard we haven't downgraded the quality at all I'm going to take a quick exit 
So pardon me, I want to take a quick exit. Okay, okay. I did that. So let's uh, let's take a quick look at the temperatures. And uh, I'm using Core Temp because I really rely on this software. The readings are quite similar to others as well. Okay, so it's just above 50. It's around 55, 56, and the ambient temperatures in India right now is 35 degrees. So I have to give it to the processor and the cooling system of the Bricks X. Uh, that they are holding up quite nice and uh, also there is a Wi-Fi option as it comes with the, a Wi-Fi card pre-installed I'm going to connect it to my own uh, Wi-Fi system over here and yes it's done it's as fast as that okay let's start in crisis 2 yeah I love this series so uh, just don't blame me I'm going to start crisis 2 and I'm going to show you how good this thing is going to hold up okay it's uh, starting up. All right, uh, it's gonna load up. I guess, yeah. Loading time. Okay. Here we go. We have just started the with the flashy EA signature logo of the Crisis series. Yeah, Cry Engine Three. It's very well optimized. Handles your CPU and GPU quite nicely, and still you love this game. Well, that's all about prices, I can say. Okay. Okay, here we are. Prices is uh, loading up. Oh, no, I'm not going to go online on this one. I'm just going to resume the configure uh, the game where I left it. First of all, I would like to show you the options. Uh, and uh, just to show what the video quality right now is. Okay, graphics. Okay, we are running at 1024768 native resolution and the V-Sync is obviously on. The gamer, the system spec has been rated as gamer. Guys, it has been rated as gamers and just quite impressive for something of this size like the brick. Okay, don't, okay, so here we go. Okay, I have been detected. Alright, and I'm gonna shoot them. Okay, I'm not that bad. Okay, I'm again invisible and uh, I'm gonna stealth kill this guy. Just look at the graphics and just look at the particles. This crisis is famous for all these particles. You can see I'm engaging my cloak and there is no jitter, no lag, no hiccups at all. I am moving my mouse as fast as I can and I am getting solid frames on this one. Here we have a flame, the smoke and everything is quite well uh, you know, uh, visible and okay, fine. Now I take a super jump, and you can see how well it is happening. Okay, I'm running. Yeah, yeah, the bullets, obviously, and the temperatures uh, okay. maximum has gone up to 70. It's still very much under the safe range because the Broadwell CPUs are meant to be operated within 105 degrees Celsius, which is still there's yeah. a lot of borderline. Oh. Okay, guys, uh, well. Uh, let, because the bricks are aimed at being a home entertainment system and you know you have a dual core Broadwell CPU, you're spending around $265 etc etc so you would like it to do a lot of multitasking. So let me display how much of a multitasking you guys can actually do on this. You know, I have a print with me, a Blu-ray rip of uh, my favorite movie Avatar and it is uh, like a 7.94 that is like around 8 GB print that is a 1080p print obviously. So I'm gonna run this along with I have a, 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 a you know the old Halo game if you remember that it is around a 600 uh, MB setup. So I'm gonna decompress that along with I'm gonna play Avatar movie and uh, just to sweeten up the whole thing I have a, a movie uh, you know I have a video over here uh, Beyonce who you know run the girls and it's a 720p movie I'm gonna put it on conversion and yes. I also have a pen drive plugged in and uh, it contains the Crisis 3 setup, obviously I am not going to run this on the brick. It is a 9.95 GB setup of, you know, a set of miscellaneous files. So I am going to copy paste this alongside whatever I just said. Okay, so let's start with the avatar and I am going to start it, you know, I am going to open it. Uh, okay, so here we go. Avatar has started playing. I've got Crisis 3, I put it on copy and I'm gonna put it right on the desktop over here and now I've got my 
conversion, I'm going to start with the conversion. No, I don't want to upgrade my convert right now. Okay, conversion and this, this is it. 70p, I'm going to put this on conversion guys. Now I have a print, uh, and I said halo, I'm going to ex oh, I'm gonna extract this right over here. So, okay guys, so you can see halo is being convert, uh, is being decompressed. There is a copy paste going on, there is a conversion going on and then you have the movie, It you can see there is no lag at all guys. This is amazing. This is amazing actually. If I show you the task manager which actually itself takes around 5.4 particular CPU usage, you can see we are still very well under the maximum CPU utilization. We are at 90 or 91, 89%. So we still have a lot of room for more conversion, more copy paste, or any other process that we still want to do right now. Maybe you can do an, or you can, you, you know, you can edit your office documents, or you can put something on download. Okay, let's start Mozilla Firefox. Okay, let's let's just push this thing to the limit. We are gonna open my own blog, obviously. So uh, this is computers and more, and this thing is still being decompressed and it is about to get decompressed fully the conversion is on the movie is being played the copy paste is being done and the, obviously there i have opened the browser as well and this still guys we are having a room around 10 percent room more this is amazing this shows how competent the 5010u broadwell is and this is just well, the i3 that winds up my performance review for the gigabyte print s based on the i3 5010u broadwell cpu and i must say it is a deal priced at just around 265 dollars and a size that is as small that it can fit in the palm of my hand and obviously my hands are of average size. This thing is is supposed to be in your living room. I am saying this, it is supposed to be in your living room and I am very much thankful to Gigabyte Engineers for creating such a beautiful thing. It looks elegant, it performs like a beast and it is as compact as anything can be. I have configured it with the SSD and the RAM for the installation video. Many of you have been asking me how to do that. So I will post it very soon. Till then, if you have liked my video and want to see more of my videos, then do subscribe to my channel and like this, share this and stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys and bye bye till the next time.